Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. We are once again live down here in the Barricade <laughs> Studios. <laughs> another episode of OTBS on that bill shit with me, your host, Freddy Loso, with my co host and my brother, Biggie Mafia. What's going on, bro? That was a good one, bro. That, that was that was a good one. You got me. I'm not gonna lie. I got bro. you. You got me, so I wasn't expecting that at all. Yo, what's the deal, bro? What's what's going on, man? How you feeling? Yo, it's Tuesday. Summer is almost over, bro. It's right around the corner, bro. Oh my we God. back to school within like three weeks. Some places in the country already started back at school. So like Yo, that's wild. Yo, bro, I woke up in the morning the other day. I left out for work. And I caught this bitch someone trying to leave us, man. I caught her trying to sneak out the back door. Yo, I walked outside, and you know that that you know that chill in the air when you start breathing and you see your breath? Yep. I was like, what kind of shit is this, man? It's only what's today? Today's August 13th, man. And and yeah. And at night, I almost had to turn on the fire pit the other day. I was sitting out back watching oh, uh, God, watching God. some baseball, and I was like, "Damn, it's a little it's a little chilly, but I like it. I'm with it." I'm not ready, man. I'm not ready. You know what? You know what? I, I'm gonna take that back because I'm I'm not really a summer person. I'm not gonna lie, to you. I'm not big on I'm not big on the summer. I'm a fall. You know, mm-hmm. let's wear. It. Let me put on a sweater or a hoodie. I don't and like a pair of shorts. You know, yeah. I'm in. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I'm not big on this bugs and all of this other shit, man. I, I'm not. I'm, nah, man. You have to keep that, man. I'm not. I'm yeah. not big give me, that. give me that perfect fall weather. Right. That you know. Right. What is it? Se- September to to November. I'm all for it, man. I'm yeah. all for it, brother. Even though you know, I did. Uh, Enjoy, you know, we took a took a little family outing to uh to Jennings Beach the other day, yeah. um, out there in uh, Connecticut. Which I listen, I know some people, you know, they they opposed to having to pay to go to the beach or certain things. You know why I like I prefer paying to go to certain places as opposed to the free option. Why? Because it deters a certain kind of people. It does. From it does. Life. You know, granted, it, it costs, you know, the fee is like for a non-resident, it's like 50 bucks to, to attend the beach out there in Jennings, even though we didn't pay. We didn't pay to get in, no. uh, you know, it's just being on point. Uh, but outside of that, I, I liked it, bro. I enjoyed it. We had a good time. The sun was, you know dipping and dodging in and out of clouds so it wasn't too yeah. hot it wasn't too cold it was um it was just right bro you looked you looked a little nervous when you was trying to go out there in that water bro i'm not gonna lie you was bro the water was it was <clears throat> it was a lot colder than i had it oh. anticipated i mean the last time we went to the beach as a family we were in puerto rico and you know you literally walk right into that nice warm water Facts. That's a fact. That's a fact. I'm not gonna lie. That shit was uh, that water was a little. You know, if if I was a different kind of guy, I'm sure I would have to worry about shrinkage. But you know, I've only heard of such a thing. I've never really had to deal with it. <laughs> you know, I, I just I don't know. I, no, I get I'm, it. I get I'm, it. I'm, I'm warm blooded, bro. I can't. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, bro. But yeah, ladies, any, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, you know, it's it was a good week. It was a good outing. Like we said, summer is coming to an abrupt, uh, an abrupt. Yo, listen, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna say this. I wasn't gonna put it on blast. Yo, I had a crazy dream last night, bro. What you got, yo, bro? Yo, you ever had a dream that was so vivid and so crazy? that you remember it all day? Because, you know, usually you have a dream, you yes. forget about that shit. Mm-hmm. Usually you have a dream, and as good as it was or as bad as it was, shit, right after you wake up, you can't remember none of it. Right. You know, I've been thinking about this dream all day. 
I had a dream to the point where I woke up, I was infuriated, bro. Oh, damn. I was I was mad at the wife in this dream. Oh, so, man. Listen, if, if you got kids watching, this is probably the point where uh, you might want them to stop listening because this dream is a little explicit. That was your warning. So here goes. Yo, bro, at, at, at some point in this dream, mm -hmm. me and the wife, we were about to get it on, bro. Like, we was butt-ass naked. We was about to... We were about to go in, right? right? This is this is all my life that I had this dream last night. So me and the wife in this dream, we was about to get it in, bro. Mm -hmm. But as it was going to go down, mm -hmm. then she hits me with a surprise. Like, yo, I got somebody to join us. And I'm like, what? So in comes in this woman, ugly looking woman, bro. It wasn't even like, this wasn't like some kind of fantasy. Oh, this is a celebrity. No. She right. lets this woman in a room. The woman is fucking ugly, but I don't give a fuck because I'm about to, yo, it's about to go down. And mm -hmm. this woman is butt-ass naked too. And I'm looking at her face. I'm like, eh, whatever. It is what it is. Right. Yo, bro, as we going to get it on, I look and the chick had a fucking dick, bro. Oh, man. Bro. She had a fucking a weenie, bro. <laughs> now, you know what? Maybe I need to correct the verbiage. I don't know, because then you know there's no such thing as a woman with a pink. Listen, I'm not trying to get canceled this week. That was last week's episode. That was last week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But listen, if you guys, I know what you guys are thinking. Well, what did you do? What was the next step? What do you think I did, bro? I said, fuck it. No, I'm stop. That's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. That was a joke. That was a joke. I kicked, I kicked, I kicked the person the fuck out. And the reason I was infuriated was because in the dream, it seemed like the wife, she knew that this was going to happen. She knew what the setup was and she let it ride out anyway. Bro, I've been thinking about this dream all fucking day. I'm confused about my, uh, confused about myself for a hot second. Then I started to realize, no. Uh, uh, is there something you're trying to lead to tell oh, us on the no, show this man. week? Nah, man. Nah, bro. I, I was, uh, listen, bro. It, it was a bad dream, and I've been thinking about the shit all day, and it's just messing with me, man. I'm like, what the hell? Why would I have, why? Why would I have a dream like that? Yo, you remember that growing up, bro? Yo, remember the first time you had a wet dream? Yeah, I thought I pissed myself in the middle of Woke up mad nervous. You start putting it at like the bottom of the hamper because you're like, I don't know what to do with this. Yo, yo, listen, for all the dudes that's listening out there, man, most of y'all, y'all know, y'all know what the deal is, man. You fucking wake up that next morning for school and your shit is like fucking like an oak tree and you soaking wet. You're like, what is that? What happened? What's, what's going on? And yo, and you know what's crazy, bro? So I've been thinking about this lately. Like, because my son is at an age or almost at the age where that shit might be happening. So how do you, how do you have that conversation? Because my, my father never had that conversation with me. You I had a very awkward conversation like that with my father. I still, bro, I can tell you where I was, oh my God. what car I was in, where I was sitting, what was going on outside, bro. It's like a, how did that go? like a core memory type shit burned in my brain like verbatim you remember that conversation not verbatim i remember i remember the conversation about the wet dreams i remember sitting in this chevy lumina it was like it was like the goldish color mm -hmm. sitting in the mm -hmm. front seat tan interior it was raining mm -hmm. outside driving down the Garden God, State Parkway, damn, bro. bro. I'm telling you, God, it's damn. etched in my brain forever. Forever. Because it was that awkward. So can I? Can we get some context, though, on the conversation, please? Yeah, so... As, you know, as uncomfortable as it may be? Pops was like, you know, like, you know, you're getting older. It, it just didn't, like... There was no, like, clearing of us clear and obvious segue to mm -hmm. 
hey, let's have this, you know, birds and the bees, wet dreams type conversation. And it was just like, yeah, you know, um, you know, as you're getting older now, there's going to be times where you wake up in the night where you think you pee yourself. You know, like you wake up, your underwear's wet. I'm like, what? I'm like, yo, fifth grade. I'm like, I don't want to have this conversation with my dad. Like, what the fuck? Why? It's like 830 in the morning. I'm like, <laughs> oh, like, no, I'm not not doing this right now. And then just explained it. And then that was it. That was like the end of the conversation. Just abruptly. Yeah, just like, all right. And then turn up the music a little bit and keep driving. Yo, I'm not even going to sit here and tell you how crazy, like, your dad must have been thinking about something for him to just, because there's no mm. way y'all wake up. I don't know if you guys had, like, family breakfast. You're sitting there. You guys are eating uh, wheat tina or whatever it was that you ate in the morning. <laughs> And fucking just pulled out of the driveway. And he was like, what does your dad used to call you? He called you Freddy? What do he call you? Yeah, Papito. I mean, he's driving. He's like, listen, uh, Papito, uh, once in the blue, you're going to have a dream. And uh, you're going to have an erection and your pants are going to be wet. Like, what the fuck is that? Bro, I don't I don't remember how it got <laughs> into it. Like, I'm telling you that this, like, moment in time is etched in, but I don't know how it led into it or what was, like, the start of it, but I remember uh, that portion. That's crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. That's... <sighs> Listen, man, I don't know. I don't know. I know we had that conversation before as to, you know, how how that sex talk is seemingly how it should go nowadays but you know what also man kids are learning about sex at such a young age now it's like yeah man it's hard not to talk about it bro when you listen into the radio and you got sexy red playing shout out to my girl sexy red i love that girl man you know that's, birthday intro song that's 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 my girl man but how 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 can you not talk about it now that shit is everywhere bro they got sex and everything it's yeah. everywhere and like I feel, I don't know. I feel like the U.S. is more. I want to say like they're catching up to the rest of the world. Like Europe is a lot different. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of everywhere, but I, I don't know. Maybe it just the age I was in, it just felt like everybody was normal with it over there. Like, would you say you mean like sexual sexuality or nudity? Both. Or both. Yeah, like there's, I, I'm, I'm gonna say it's probably still going on to this day in England. Mm -hmm. I think it's page three of the of one of these certain tabloid papers that they sell every day is a naked naked chick on it, whole page. Every every morning. Every day. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, every day in the newspaper. Just is a butt ass naked woman in the newspaper. Yeah. Like she's either topless, but yeah, she's something's out. Maybe not, it might not be full frontal, but titties are out. I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to cover. So, you mean like how we sell the daily news? If I open up page three of the daily news, is a, a, a butt ass naked woman? Uh, in, yes, sir. In, Okay. Every day. All right. Shout out to the UK, I guess. I mean, I, I really, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's wild. Coming, coming from over here to over there is insane. And you know, and, and like, I know you said this before, like when you used to go to the beaches out there, like chicks are topless, like it's not like a, it's not like a big deal. But yeah. meanwhile, you, you fucking walk up here and, and a chick walking down the street in a wife beater with no bra and her fucking nipples of like laser point is everyone's like, oh my. Oh my God. God. Get a jacket on. Well, that's mostly the women saying that because you know the men don't right. mind. We don't care. Yeah. You know, there's a, I don't care what age you are as a man after your pubescent years. Man, it's, you looking, bro. You looking. 
And some of y'all women, y'all look into it. It's like, what, what the fuck is going on? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but well, I went ahead, right? I went ahead. It's August 13th. The Olympics are finally over. Uh, you know, as usual, the U.S. has dominated the medal count because that's what we're good for. We're good for being fat and we're good for playing sports. You know, every other thing in the world, countries got us beat. Education, uh, you know, not sentiment. All the important we, shit they got us all, beat. Right. All of the important <clears throat> stuff, countries they got us beat. The uh, the youth health and all of that, everything. Mm. Right. Engineers, robotics, fucking dancing. They took dancing from us. Uh, every, they, we'll get into that. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> everything else, America, we, you know, when it comes to eating, when it comes to movies. And it comes to uh yeah, what the hell the f- hello professional okay. sports. Professional sports, America, we got it by far. Yeah. Not counting soccer. Because you know Yeah, no, we, we're way behind on that one. Right, because we don't take it seriously at all. Especially when you got, you know, you got people calling it football. It's like, no, we got football and we got it online. So 2028, you'll see. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Now. Mm-hmm. Back to the U.S., back to the Olympics. It's like track and field. I was watching it. Yo, this chick, Shikari Richardson, man. Shout out to her. That chick is dog. Practical. She's the fastest black woman I've ever seen in my life, bro. She runs faster than most black women talk. And that's saying something, bro. <laughs> that's saying yeah. something for real, man. That chick right uh-huh. there, dog. All of the women, all of the women that was doing the relays and the singles competition, dog, track and field. Crushed it. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I know the gymnastics, uh, Simone Biles, shout out to her. I know she got herself another gold medal. The whole team, even though the chick, you know, they they, they stole her bronze medal from her. I thought that was kind of fucked up. Man. But did you see Flavor Flav got her a bronze uh, medallion? Clock medallion for her. Are you serious? Yeah. F- Flavor Flav, he sponsored the entire women's water polo team. Really? Like, throughout the year, I want to say the last year or two. And like got them pool time. And like, so he was there for every game. And when they won the medal, like he was there with them. So he's been over there. Supporting. You know the saying? women's polo team, the water yes. polo team, the women's water polo team. There's... I, don't think they got, I don't think they got a medal this year. Though. I heard they lost their bronze medal match. You gotta, I, you gotta check that. I, I, I could be wrong. I'll have I have to check sw- that. I could have sworn they lost, and if they did lose, it's his fault. <laughs> of all people, flame. Listen, listen, bro. If I'm in Paris at the Olympics competing for a medal. The last person I want in my corner is fucking play with me. Come on, man. They've got it to the point where his Funko Pop is now available. The Flavor Flav U.S. water polo. I give up, man. I give up, bro. And if I'm, if I'm, uh, what's her name? Jordan, uh, Jordan Childs. I'm <laughs> so bad at names. <laughs> I'm so bad at names. If it was her, if I'm her and I'm competing and I get a bronze and they took it away and Flavor Flav comes to me with a bronze clock talking about, here, I got you. I just might slap the shit out of you, bro. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? I have been practicing for four years. I just got this medal stolen from me because this other girl was crying on TV. And you gonna come give me a clock? Look, get, 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 how get fuck how fucked here, up bro. is that? Yeah, that what almost a week later after she she won it that they're like oh no now there's a scoring change and you're not bronze anymore like fuck out of yeah, here yeah that's fucked up see now my question is and I asked this the other day mm-hmm. does she have to physically give that medal back because my thing is what if she says no what if she says no nah, I'm not giving it back and that's true supposedly she has to it says she has to return the medal. 
So I don't know if that means like she physically has to return it or she's now moved to fourth place. So my question is this, what if she's not competing ever again? What if she, what if this was her last go run? And she just goes, nah, fuck it. I'm not giving shit back. I'm not giving Pull shit up. back. Yeah. Pull up. Fly over here to the U.S. and come get it from me. I bet you one thing. I bet you if Donald Trump get elected and that shit happen, it's not going down. Yeah. There's going to be casualties. Big, big casualties. Big, big. Big. It'll be on the scale of which you've never seen before. Big. I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's fucked up. Staying on the topic of the Olympics. Oh, my God. I don't know if any of you have gotten a chance to see it. You Jesus know, Christ. Me, that me, was and the, me and the wife watched the, uh, the opening of it, like the initial match of the uh, break dancing competition that they decided to add this year to. Uh... <sighs> listen, listen, bro. Can you can you tell the people for those who haven't seen it what was her final score? I see. I I I, I didn't watch to to enough to see her score. Did you Did you see it? She got a zero. She got a zero. A big the, fat zero. The chick from Australia. I I shit you not. It's almost as if they found a woman and said, "Listen, we don't have anyone to represent our country. Can you just go out there and?" do something to compete. Try your best. Try your best and, and, and go get us a score. Yo, listen, let me tell you how bad she did. She did so bad that the Olympic Committee saw that shit and said, we're no longer doing breakdancing competitions with the fucking Olympics. Breakdancing is officially over for the Olympics. Let me tell you something. If I were other people who were competing in that competition and I saw her do that, you have my full permission. Kill that woman. <laughs> do not allow her to return to her country safely. You do not pass go. You do Let not. Let me tell you something. Do you know how much she disrespected the 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 culture, the fucking bro. The at one history? point, the, at one point, I feel like she did the thriller dance. Like I saw her going like this, bro. Bro, she desecrated the memory of you talking about the South Bronx legends that used yeah. to come out and perform. Yo, Beach Street, one of the greatest hip hop movies of all time. Yeah. Right? Disrespected it, just blatantly just disrespected the history, the culture. No and, regards. Listen, and I and I and I said it before. The Koreans, they got shit on Smash, bro. The Asians. The Jabberwocky? Bro. I don't even know. Listen, I don't know who won the gold medal for breakdancing, but if it wasn't somebody who was Asian, I'd be fully surprised. Because watching these, these Asians, these Koreans do, do breakdancing now is it's insane. Yeah. And to have this woman go out there and do that shit, yo, she need to be ashamed of herself, bro. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? It was, when I tell you all over my timeline and my newsfeed, everywhere I looked, it was coming up. Listen, I am not for bullying, especially online bullying. I think it's horrible. Mm -hmm. But I think everyone needs to find out who that woman is and send a gang of hate mail to her house <laughs> right now. Because that's ridiculous. She needs to never show her face in public. I'm serious, man. That shit was awful, bro. It was awful. It was what is it? the the, conf the confetti little grenade things that like you open it and just just confetti oh and my confetti God, like uh, glitter oh everywhere. She needs God. to get all of that. Listen, man, I don't know. Does uh does Australia have a president or king? Obviously, I think it's a prime minister. Prime minister. Yeah, you need to re restrict her of her civil rights in. <laughs> Right. Yeah, send her send her to the Congo somewhere where they could use her body parts for lunch meat because that shit was hard. I take that back, bro. That shit was over. Oh, I went a little bit too far. I'm sorry. So there have been new sports that will be 
will be added to the Olympics in 2028 in LA. We got baseball and softball. Uh, we've got cricket, lacrosse. We've got flag football. Mm-hmm. And no, that's flag football. All right, that's it. Those are the uh, the six. And I'm all for that. I'm all for all of those being added. I would like to see a little bit more, you know, urban sports. Like when I saw they had handball in there. Oh, like, and squash. Sorry, squash was the other one. I don't even know what the hell that is. It's that it's like hard. racquetball, but with a, a smaller ball. Come on, man. I feel like they have too many ball sports. Boss. <laughs> they have too many ball sports already. All right, can we chill out? With the little ball sports, you got ping pong, you got tennis, you got golf. All right, with all these small ball fucking sports, can we get some other shit in there, please? And if you're gonna do handball, can we do handball like they do in the hood with the wall? And you got, you know, that would be cool. Got Tito and and my man uh, Hassan out just a, there, just a bunch of salsa music playing. In fact, exactly. Come on, mad man. loud. Stop it, stop it, bro. Stop it. And y'all gonna be in LA. And you know what's wild, bro? For them to take out break dancing and the next Olympics is gonna be in LA is LA. Yeah. Mad. Australia, fun. you fucked up. Y'all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I would, if they don't be in LA, you know what I would love to see? Respectfully, what? this is gonna sound mad stupid. Can we have some real hood like competitions? Like, let's say who can break into the car uh, to a car and get it started the fastest. That shit would be, yo, listen, let me tell you something. That shit would be crazy. Let's see who can break into a car the fastest. Let's see what country can hack into somebody's bank account and remove all of their funds the fastest. Just so we know, all right, this ethnicity, they got it on lock. Like these Nigerians got the gold medal in fucking computer hacking and stealing people's funds. You know how, what I'm saying? How fast can they call somebody and get their whole information in one listen, phone call? Listen, for real. Let's see who got the gold medal in pickpocketing. You know what I'm saying? I, I would I would I feel love... like you're on to uh like a Legends of the Hidden Temple type show. Hey, I'm all for, but I'm saying though, these are everyday things that happen in real life. Like these are real Olympic type shit. You yeah. know, like come on. I saw one that had speed wall climbing. Like who the fuck does that, bro? Who's who's speed wall climbing? You don't even see that shit in there. And then they got the one sport where they like there's people on a bike and they're indoor riding around the track with the oh, fucking yeah. uh, the helmets uh, and shit. With the yeah. helmets that look like they're from that movie uh when they were on the Yeah, like where do you even do that at? Like I like seriously, I've never seen a, a place, an arena, a field where they have those hardwood fucking track. Yeah. Anyway. When anyway. was the last time you saw a, a, a roller rink? Like, those shits were all over the place when we were growing up. Freestyle skating. That that should be an Olympic sport. Mm -hmm. I think uh, skateboarding's in there now. You know what else would be a dope-ass Olympic sport? A big-ass supermarket. You ever watch Supermarket Sweep? Yes, I loved uh, fucking Supermarket Sweep. Yo, Supermarket Yo, let me tell you something. First of all, you want to depress yourself? Watch Supermarket Sweep right now and see all of the shit that you could have got for a hundred dollars. <laughs> Sorry, put on an old episode and watch them fill up three fucking jumbo shopping carts with eighty dollars worth of groceries, and you'd be like, "They got that for eighty dollars." <laughs> yeah, I bought I just, two bags of chips, and it was eighty dollars. Yo, bro, I just stopped at the supermarket on the way home from football practice. I got a half a pound of. Boys had lunch meat, which watch out because I heard that you got this theory in it. I probably shouldn't have got it. So if I'm not here oh, next God. week, just just know that uh and and I probably did get some poisonous shit because I, I went to the dude at the deli counter as soon as it was closing and he was giving me that look like you motherfucker, you better not come over here. <laughs> you better. You're really gonna ask me for some shit after we had a conversation about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I did it, bro. I was walking up to the counter. And I was like, yo, 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 you still open, bro? And he was like, yeah, man, we still open, man. <laughs> so let me, 
Let me just uh let me get a half pound of that teriyaki chicken, my brother. <laughs> and then and then then he hit me with the you know, he said he goes, we don't have none out here. I got I gotta open a new pack. And then he gave it a look like like I was gonna be like, ah no, nah, no, nah, fuck it. Let me just get don't worry that. about it, don't worry. <laughs> now nah, go get that. that. <laughs> now nah, go get that shit, man. Go go give me that fresh pack. He went out there and he walked it out and he looked at me too. And I know, I know he gave me that shit with that Listeria motherfucker in me. I'm like, yo, watch tomorrow. I'm gonna be sick as a fucking dog, bro. I guarantee you. Because then he a cut file for for send back. It's like, nah, <laughs> fuck this guy. And then and then he then he cut off like yo, it was a fresh back. Then he goes, yo, you want to try it out? And I was like, nah, man. I know, I know what it is, bro. You gave me the fucked up, the the fucked up chicken. It's all good. But anyway, spend that money now and see what happens, bro. I I got that. I got a bag of some trail mix, and I got a fucking uh little pack of little mozzarella, bro. I spent thirty dollars on those three yeah, things right there. It's insane, absolutely insane. So you hear that Olympic committee make that an Olympic sport? Every contestant gets a hundred dollars. See who can get the most shit in their shopping cart. Coupon that shit up. Coupons for extra points, attempt, and creativity is a must. Yes. Right? Creativity is a must. Like, if you could get a, a peanut butter, jelly, and the bread and keep that shit under $3, that's an extra 50 points. Yeah. Oh. I'm worried. Oh, shit is retarded, man. Olympics are over, thank God. Uh, we ain't got to hear no more shit about people uh, transsexual boxing and all of this bullshit that they got going oh, on out here. We ain't got to hear no more of it. But, you know, people just getting so soft nowadays. Everything is so sensitive. It's like, the culture, so, man. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get it. I feel like our generation wasn't like that. <clears throat> I feel like we were the last generation of the the not soft, no bullshit. As opposed to now. You know what I think a lot of that shit comes, though, comes from is... uh. I think it's not only in the, the things that we watch and the things that we listen to. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of it comes from the parents. But I also oh, think 100%. Of, yeah, I think a lot of it comes from the shit that we eat too. I, yo, I challenge you right now. Mm -hmm. Go in your cabinet, wherever. Look at the ingredients in the food and see how much shit has soy in it. Bro, I'm very big on not eating soy, and I haven't. I've, I've been this way for a long time. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't notice. I know a lot of the Jamaicans do. Like you ever hear Jamaican, like they they don't eat soy at all, because you know soy soy. As a man, that should have messed with you. A lot of people don't notice. Soy as a man will give you a lot of estrogen in your system. It'll mess with your tally whacker. A lot of people don't know that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Soy will mess with your penis. Soy gives men breasts. Soy fucks a lot of dudes, man. That's like you what? know that, you know that phrase, "soy boy." Yes, that's mm -hmm. where that shit comes from. Because that shit is real. I know they got a lot of studies. Like, oh, you would have to eat a certain amount of soy to allow it to. Listen, bro. If you drink a drop of soap, it wouldn't kill you. But who the fuck is drinking soap? You know what I'm saying? But you gotta watch what you eat, man. You have to, because that soy shit will fuck with you, bro. It's get it's getting a lot of people, man. It is, man. It is, and it's not even just that, man. Like, you ever see like some of the shit that the, these chemicals that they're doing to food and what it's doing to kids? Like, you have nine year old girls starting menstrual cycles. That's wild, bro. That shit ain't normal, bro. And that shit's not just coming from genetics. It's not, that shit doesn't just happen. Yeah, it's bro. what they're eating. It, it, mm -hmm. it, it's shit in the food, man, that's like, we're not paying attention to, but we just we just do it out of convenience. And not only that, it's cheaper. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper. Try to, to try to go out and get healthy shit. It's ridiculously <sighs> overpriced. Yeah, Organic yeah. shit, like fresh fruits, fresh, you know, stuff that doesn't have a shit ton of preservatives and stuff like that. The price right. is astronomical. 
it's like they don't want you to eat it or it's like you said earlier uh pricing out a certain demographic i want you to ask yourself something bro mm -hmm. you know how you go to the supermarket and you go to like the the beef section mm -hmm. and there's certain ones that's labeled grass-fed beef yeah what the fuck are the other cows eating then? Like, what? Is... They give These... them like like other pillars and stuff in their food. So like they get the straw and stuff like that, but there's like also added, like I guess vitamin. It's like a mixture of shit. I've seen I've seen the uh, the videos on that, bro. That is very concerning. There's a, quite a handful of farms where we live at. Like, you go down our Route 94, you'll mm -hmm. hit a couple of farms. Yeah. And I see the cows out there all the time, and they're all eating fucking grass. So yeah. what are these other, like, are they eating from a machine? Like, are they getting bottle fed? Like, are they eating slop? I want to know what the fuck are these cows eating? I think it's it's like a slop style. Oh, oh shit. God. But you but you know, like when we were growing up and we were going to school and you saw cows on TV and in movies, they were eating grass. Yeah. So now I have to pay an extra seven dollars for this pack of burgers because this cow ate grass. Grass is from the earth. <laughs> Why the fuck am I paying extra for this cow that ate grass? Like, I'm confused. Like, imagine let the, going to the... Let the cow out in my backyard. I need I need a mowing. Like, like, I want you to picture this. Imagine going to a restaurant and you go... Oh, I'm going to the bathroom. And you go into the bathroom and there's two separate bathrooms. And you're like, I don't understand. But, and the guy goes, oh, this one is free. But this one over here, you got to pay $5 because it has toilet paper. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute, man. Isn't oh, it supposed man. to have fucking toilet paper? Aren't, oh, the cows, aren't the cows supposed to be eating grass? It's free. God put it here for us. So why do you even need to make slop and fucking vitamins of it? Just let them go outside. Let the cows go outside and eat the grass. What the fuck is the big deal? I don't know, bro. I don't know. And don't you have tell a me, fair oh, point. You have a fair point. I, I just, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Why are we making shit so complicated? Why is water five dollars a bottle at the gas station? Why? Go to a baseball game. It's almost seven dollars. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm not buying anything. That costs that much. I will sneak it in if I have to, one way or another. <laughs> Listen, bro. I get it. I get it. Times is hard, man. Who the fuck has seven dollars? It's bad enough you've made you spend eight dollars to sit up in these fucking seats that's half a mile up. Mm -hmm. And I oh, come on, man. It's it's too much, bro. It's wild, bro. It's too much. We're making life so complicated now. Why? Why are we so making complicated so complicated and overpricing everything? Right. Even with like the congestion pricing that they talk about talking about, so I know they're still making a big deal about this congestion pricing. Mm -hmm. And I know they don't want to say it, but the reason that they're trying to enforce congestion pricing is because nobody pays their fucking fares when they take the train and the subway. Everybody's sneaking on a the bus. They're hopping the turnstiles and going through the emergency exit. So because this person doesn't want to pay a fare, I got to pay $13 a day to go to work. Get the Basically. Fuck the fuck out of my face, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's wild, bro. It's, it's all the women's fault. It's all women's fault. I'm blaming everything on women, man. I don't know how. I don't know why. But I just know that it sounds like some crazy shit to say. So that's what I'm going to say. It's all the women's fault. I blame all of y'all. All y'all. All, all y'all women, all y'all bad decisions that y'all make. Putting in the input for man, yeah, why don't we do this? No, shut up. Why don't we do that? Just leave it alone.
And all y'all women, listen, now I'm going to go on a little rant. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. I'm all for it. like these little short 411 dudes that have these crazy attitudes and be talking, talking crazy to people. You know why they do that? Because y'all women allow them to. Why y'all not putting these little dudes in their place? Y'all let these ugly motherfuckers, these crazy looking motherfuckers like gargoyles, and they be fucking four foot seven, and they just be talking and acting crazy because y'all allowed them to. Why y'all not putting them in their place? As a man, it's only certain. All right, we gonna beat them up. They still gonna be ugly. We can't hurt their ego. Y'all gotta do that. Do your yeah. jobs. Do your <laughs> fucking job. jobs. Oh. Yo, bro, stop letting me go off on these tangents, man. It's not healthy. It's not healthy at all, bro. <laughs> what was it? Uh, the Dave Chappelle skit? If you've got hate in your heart, let it out. <laughs> no, I don't got no hate in my heart. Man. <laughs> oh, God. I love everybody, man. I love everybody. I treat everybody with respect. <laughs> I like how you just sit there and give me that fucking look, bro. You gotta stop doing that, man. You gotta stop letting me go off on these fucking tangents, bro. I'm telling you. It's late. It's 1040. We both gotta go to work tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. You know, so, it is I saw I saw something interesting. I sent it to you. Um <clears throat> I'll I'll read it for the people for those who don't know this happened. Uh mm. so there's the Steve Harvey and Bernie Mac, why their friendship soured um, mm. towards the later years. Um, when Bernie Mac was cast for Ocean's Eleven, Steve Harvey went to the director and producer to try to steal the movie role. <laughs> even, <laughs> even telling them that he would take less money. They said no and told Bernie about him. That's why Bernie never wanted to do another Kings of Comedy tour ever again and this is all coming out now um i feel like it it came out a few years ago maybe mm -hmm. but it's but making it, it's, it uh, popped it's up on my to... feet again yeah are you surprised i'm not surprised i'm not like i've heard stories about steve harvey and mm -hmm. stuff like that and it it starts to make sense but you talk so highly of a person and call call that person your brother i guess to me i have a different definition of what a brother is and how i would treat my brother like i'm not i'm not going to go and try to backstab you and take your role mm -hmm. and take food off your plate you know what i mean like right. if i call you my brother it's cuz i mean it i'm going to be there to celebrate your ups I'm going to help you when you're down. Like, that's right, just right. the way it is. Like, for you to say that's my brother and you did that, that's fucked up. I'm like you, man. I'm, I'm, that shit is disgusting, to be honest with you. Mm hmm. You know, because even when that movie came out, like, Steve Harvey, he had so much, man. Like, you already had your TV show. You already had your success as a comic and all of this other stuff. To do that to Bernie Mac, and if you ever listen to comedians talk, and I'm talking about comedians that really, like, came up through the, the, the independent shows, through, like, the real circuit, and they was out there grinding, they'll tell you Bernie Mac was, like, the underground king, and they all had tremendous respect mm -hmm. for Bernie Mac, you know? And I don't know if Steve Harvey really got that kind of respect from his peers, you know? Mm -hmm. And now I could kind of see why, because that's some dirtbag shit to do to somebody, bro. Yeah, for real. That's some that's some that's some dirtbag shit to do. And I'm surprised Bernie Mac ain't whip his ass over that shit, man. Facts. Cause you trying to take food off my table. And not only are you trying to take food over my table, but then you're trying to act like you, you know, you riding with me. Like, that's, I don't know, bro. Right. And know. then you I'm want not, me to come on tour with you to help you get money? Nah, fuck that. I mean, to be honest with you, we kind of dealt with that kind of shit last year without, you know. Mm-hmm. It's without, true. Without, without, you know, without getting too far off the deep end, man. 
But let me ask you a question, and I know we've spoken mm-hmm. about this before. How many people are out there with people that they think in their corner got got their best interest at heart? And, There's a lot you know, of people out there that that don't have your back. They'll smile. They'll smile at you to your face, but the minute you turn, yeah, they're they're selling you up the stream. You know how many boys I have who were in a relationship with somebody and they were with somebody for like a good minute and then they broke up with that girl just for like a few months later or something like that. One of the other so-called boys hooked up with her and now that's his... Like, what do you say about that? So like, are you telling me that now all of a sudden you was the iron hug when she was single? Because... I'm not supposed to believe like you weren't doing doing. that before. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. You got to be mindful of them smiling faces, bro. For real. You got to be mindful of them smiling faces. And the sooner, the sooner you find out the better and the healthier you'll be. Yep. 100%. (sighs) It's so true. Oh man, bro. That back to that shit is wild, bro. It's insane. Wow. And it's one of the reasons why, you know, over the course of the past year, I've made certain changes in my life and I've, I've retreated from a lot of the circles that I was in because you'd be a fool if you see things happening and you continue down that path, you know? Like, right. if I know... If I turn this corner, I might get robbed or I might get fucked up. And I turn that corner and and it happens. I can't be mad at the dudes that did it. I got to be mad at myself. Right. Right? Just like I say this, I really don't like to convene, to be honest with you, I really don't like to be in circles about around dudes that are like very untrustworthy. Mm-hmm. You know, like if you out there and I know that you constantly out there and you're doing dirt and you know, you you you're out here living foul on your family and shit. It's hard for me to look at you a certain kind of way, right. because if 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 you're doing that kind of dirt on your family, then you don't have no fucking allegiance to me. You don't you don't right. have no reason to be faithful. You know, to our friendship. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm right. saying? So mm-hmm. you just gotta be mindful. And if you like, even women, like you got that home girl that every time something good is going for you, or you got this and she don't never got nothing positive to say, or she always go, oh well, you know, couldn't be me, girl. Get that bitch out your life, bro. Like you ain't never got nothing positive to say. I yo, I hate being around negative people, man. Even at my job, like if mm-hmm. I as soon as I walk into work and you got something negative to tell me, that that whole rest of the day I might avoid you. Right. You know, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about the negative shit that happened to somebody before I got here. Especially right. if I'm just walking in the door. Like, come on, are you serious? Right. Give me, give me, you know, like, yeah. Let me breathe, bro. I'm still, yo, I didn't even take a, a, a morning shit yet. And you got, you got right? all this yeah. negativity to fucking spew in my ear. true. But there's some people that's all they know how to do is strive off of negativity, man. It's very true, bro. One hundred percent. Like they, they, they can't thrive off any, of it. Yeah, like they can't. Like it, 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 it helps their day go by. It helps them, you know, get through the twenty four hours. Yo, oh, I got bad news to tell you. Right. Oh, I got, yo, did you hear what happened to Josie, bro? Josie's daughter, man, she's pregnant, man. Right. Oh, yeah, okay. What's the what's what's wrong with that? Bro, the, the father is her uncle, man. It's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> goddamn. I didn't even have my coffee yet. Fuck out of here. No, goddamn, bro. I didn't even lock my car yet. You telling me this crazy shit. What the fuck, bro? But there's people that love, you know, they love giving neg- negative and bad news, man. Yep. I can't stand those fucking people, bro. If you always just want to give me bad news when I see you and it's always some kind of dilemma or it's always some kind of 
like shit is always up. It's like, oh my God, your life is hard enough, bro. I don't need you keep giving right. me this fucking bad news, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's so true, bro. It's so true. Insane. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. But what else we got going on in the marquee here? So you sent you sent a very interesting picture. We're gonna throw it up on the uh, on the IG and the Facebook page. Um, <clears throat> do you want to? Yeah, read I'm off the sure list. Right I'm gonna show the picture. Hopefully, it comes through clear enough. And shout out to my boy Ben because he's the one that sent it to me. And I thought it was a very interesting uh, choice of topic. On- you know, that he sent. Mm-hmm. And I think you, for the most part, all, will already know my answer. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to deviate a little bit, right? So here's the picture. And it goes, which couple, you know, who who loved their, gir- their girl more in these pictures? So I don't know how clear that's going to come out to you guys. But I'm going to read off the list a little bit. Right off the top, you have a, uh, I know this, I forget the fucking, the movie with Jada Pinkett and this guy, is it, what the hell is it? What is it? Uh, oh, Jason's Lyric. Yes. Jason's Lyric, the yes. couple from Jason's Lyric. Then you got Forrest Gump and Jenny. Mm-hmm. Then you got Dominic Toretto and Letty from Fast and Furious. From Fast and Furious. Then you got Steve Urkel and Nora Winslow. Hmm. Then you got the couple from The Notebook. Then you got uh, Megan Good, who seems to always be playing a young woman or, or a teenager because she just doesn't age. Right. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna comment on that because I ain't trying to get some no shit. Uh, and your man Columbus Short from when they were in the movie. Uh, what was that? The dancing movie. Uh, the fuck. Uh, yo, we are so bad at fucking. We're bad. And- Joel would be pissed at us right now. I know. This motherfucker is, he's probably yelling at the screen right now. I know. It's all good, man. It's all good. And you have <laughs> you have Jody and Yvette from fucking Baby Boy. You have Zach and Kelly from Saved by the Bell. And then you have uh Yo, what's wrong with us, bro? Back, what is that? Uh, is it Love Jones? Yes, Love yes. Jones. Tay Diggs. Tay Diggs and Sanai Lathan, who was my teenage crush, bro. I had the hugest crush on Sanai Lathan, man. Okay. Loving, ba- yo, loving Basketball. I went loving like, Basketball I was, was a great movie. Right. I was going through a phase where I was having a crush on like Tomboys for some reason. And then it kind of... I mean, your dream's making sense a little bit now. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. Maybe I need to come to a realization, you think? <laughs> 37 years old and started to come to a a, a life a life altering mo- like movement and wait, do you think that's a real problem? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is Yo, but seriously though, when I was young, I had a real fucking fascination with tomboys, man. I don't know what the fuck is. I mean, it's <laughs> so. But let's 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 get back to this to this meme. Yo, I can hear it now, bro. I'm gonna pay for this shit. Yeah, uh, yo, one hundred percent. You're not gonna let that down. Nah, but you know what? I will say this. When I realized, I'm like, and, and I started to think to myself, what, what is happening right now? Why am I, why am I crushing I so hard that? on fucking, but I think what it was is like, I like like those semi-aggressive females. I think that's what it was. I don't think it had anything to do with the fact that they were like boyish. <laughs> Bro. I think we should just go back to the picture before you <laughs> put yourself a deeper. <laughs> I try. I tried to get us back there. I. Try. I appreciate you trying to save me, man. But I ain't trying to save myself. 
That's what the problem is, bro. I'm not trying to save myself right now. Maybe I should just go on and back to the top. Not, but you, you, you got me concerned now. Like, what I mean, the fuck? I just made an observation. <sighs> fuck you, man. But yeah, all right. I think we all know your <laughs> your answer to this one will be Forrest Gump and Jenny. Right, I but I'm gonna so. I'm gonna exclude them. I'm gonna exclude them from this, right? Okay. If I had to pick one who loved their girl more, I'm kind of gonna lean towards um. It's a toss up, man. I might have to say, I want to say Steve Urkel, bro. I want to say Steve Urkel. You know why? Why? Out of all of these other ones, right? Mm -hmm. And just to be honest, the Zach and Kelly thing, I kind of feel like they would, you know, yeah. Zach was taking down all the shit anyway, so he ain't, how much yeah. should he really get? Uh, Jason's lyric, who cares? Jada Pinkett, fuck her. Anyway. Mm -hmm. The Dom and Letty thing, uh, that should have it was an action movie. Who cares? But the reason I'm gonna go with Steve Urkel and Laura as opposed to the couple from the notebook and Yvette and Jody. The reason I think that Steve loved him more than these other dudes loved these women, Laura wasn't giving him none, bro. He wasn't getting nothing from her. Yvette had about 13 abortions from Jody. And he was smashing other chicks. The notebook chick, you know, they were married. They had kids. They had a whole life together. Even though, you know, he was going back to read the, you know, read the shit to her. Man, that's cute. That's nice. But you're talking about herbal love. They died in so each other's good. arms, bro. Come on, the notebook? What do you do? So. Steve was, Steve was with, what's her name? Not the point, Myra, man. right? That's not the point, bro. That's not the point, man. He was with That's my... not the point, bro. You talking about Steve Urkel was this dorky ass motherfucker in high school, and one of the most popular girls in school. He had a crush on her. She wasn't giving him no play, no attention. Damn near, he was watching dudes run through her nonstop. And again, I'm get ready for the. Uh... <laughs> The sequel to Family Matters that's coming out soon. Oh, supposedly. gosh. I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see that shit. How is that fair? How is that fair? Jaleel White still looks the same age. He does. Laura looks like... I was, no, no. She does no, not no. look like Laura. I'll just leave it like that. I The canceled episode was last week. I won't. I won't try to get us canceled again this week. But yeah, and then there's also a, a different world sequel that's coming out too. Oh, come on, man. Uh, enough with the sequels. Can we be original though? Can we get some new shows? I would love to watch a new show. I'm sorry. Let me watch, watch the fucking reboot to Sabrina the Teenage Witch or fucking Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That 90s just... show? Come I watched on, that 90s man. show. It's not that bad. Come on, man. Stop it, bro. Stop. Stop. Oh, it's the 18, 2000. Nobody wants to watch that shit, all right? I don't, I don't want to see Rampage Jackson play Mr. T. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to see Mr. T play Mr. T either. Or shout out, rest in peace to Mr. T, man. That shit is quick. That shit is crazy, bro. He did die, right? No, I think he's... I think you prematurely killed him. I think he's still alive. I am sorry if I did. Is he... Please let me know. I could have sworn uh, Mr. T passed away like two years ago. Nope, he's still alive, 72 years Son old. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. T. I, you know what? The though? alive version. The alive version of Mr. T. Yeah, not for nothing though. I've been getting a lot of notif notifications lately over the past year of people who passed away. And I'm like, I already thought they passed away. Like, like dead you know, ass. Like that too. Wifey's like that too. 
Wifey's like, oh, I thought I thought they were dead years ago. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I keep on getting these notifications of people that died, and I'm like, uh, oh, could have sworn they checked out of it. <laughs> I thought I saw that happen already. Oh my god, man. I don't know. I don't I know, do bro. It's all good. It's all good, my brother, brother. Anything else going on with you, bro? Uh, not much. We were we were talking pre-show about doing a OTBS 12-team fantasy football league. Yes, if sir. anyone is interested, hit us up um, on any of the pages and let us know if you're in. There will probably be a buy-in, and that buy-in will get you an OTBS championship belt for the winner made out of cardboard because our uh production value is a zero <laughs> what? no 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 the, the entrance fee to the league will buy the trophy so he lied. It'll be it'll divided be by the 12 teams we're gonna be using that shit for gas <laughs> surprise surprise You'll be using that shit to order pizza. <laughs> Biggie's going to have a new bottle of 1800 coconut behind it. Word up, man. Yo, we got a $50 check in the mail last week. Look what I bought. <laughs> yeah, I got my rotating. Nah, no, I'm lying. That's bullshit. That was a gift for my birthday. For my homie. I don't want y'all to think that I'm out here using <laughs> one sort of show. It, it's, it's, I'm, I'm just strictly paying. But, uh, we we are taking donations though. Just saying. Yes. We take Zell. We take uh Venmo. Money, we take Venmo. We don't take Cash App because I feel like that's for strippers and um prostitutes. And yes. Yeah. So, like, you know, scammers and and prostitutes mainly use Cash App. If you out here and you're a regular person using Cash App, get your shit together and download Zell, please. Yeah, for Be real. an adult for real. Go to Chase. Go to Chase Bank. They accept everybody. Yeah. Who, who the fuck doesn't have Chase Bank? Bank? Whatever. Something. Something. Get rid of that cash app shit. You're not a hooker. Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. But, yes, that will be up. We will throw that out there for everybody, whoever's interested. <clears throat> and once the, once the belt arrives and the winner is crowned, we will see about getting them on the episode to unveil their championship. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, Big E, give us our wise words of the week and send us home. Spend more time with your friends. Please do. Yeah, it's cool to be with your, you know, your, your, love, your love of your life every day and your kids. But definitely spend more time with your friends, man, because you'd be surprised what it does for you. You know, we spend some time with also in the family the other day. We spend as much time with friends as we can, man, because it just feels so good, bro. It feels so good to spend time with your family and your friends. And shout out to my nephew, James Blocker III, who was uh, christened on Sunday, August 11th. Oh, man, my young nephew. He's a beautiful young boy. Hopefully he grows up to look nothing like his father and more like that mailman that delivers by his house. That's what I got. And with that being said, <laughs> the Sports Frenzy podcast oh, on yes. YouTube, OTBS on Facebook, the Sports Frenzy podcast on IG. Like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you guys think. And we'll be posting this stuff in on the pages drop in your comments <laughs> are we wrong let us know me, bro. It's that fucking HR. I mean, that shit. It's cool. thank you guys and we'll catch you next week peace <laughs>